this video, we'll learn how to factory clear the Scalapack X70 to bring it back to its factory default settings. A Scalapack is a smart microprocessor based telemetry and control device that can help to remotely monitor and control physical objects. For example, in a water management environment, a scatter pack can be used to monitor and control the valves on flow monitoring devices at pumping stations. The scatter pack's one millisecond sequence of event monitoring capability is well suited to telemetry applications that require high speed time stamping and data capture. Ensure that the scatter pack X70 is powered down. Press and hold the selected button. While holding down the select button, power up the Scatterpack X70 controller and observe the status LED. The status LED will go through the following sequence while the select button is held down. After 0 seconds, the LED will be off to indicate run mode. After 10 seconds, the LED will turn on to indicate service mode. After 20 seconds, the LED will blink to indicate cold boot mode. After 30 plus seconds, the LED will turn on to indicate factory boot mode. After releasing the select button, observe the run LED. The run LED will go through a flashing sequence and once the Scatterpack X70 controller is ready, it will flash one and a half seconds on and one and a half seconds off to indicate that the controller is in run mode. No action is required to select run mode. When a scatter pack starts in run mode, it loads the defined serial and ethernet communication parameters for every port. The scatter pack database configuration and the object parameter settings. The scatter pack X70 logic application and then executes it. When the scatter pack X70 is operating in run mode, the run LED on the scatter pack on front cover is either solidly lit which means that the Scatterpack X70 logic application is running, or it will be blinking every three seconds, meaning that the Scatterpack X70 logic application is not running. Service boot mode is used for configuration, programming, and maintenance work, usually when the communication settings are unknown. When a Scatterpack starts in service boot mode, the DNP3 node address zero is set enabling communications with a computer running the Scatterpack Remote Connect configuration software at a known DNP3 address. Connect the Scatterpack Remote Connect computer to a USB device port or a serial communications port. The Scatterpack X70 logic application is stopped. Modbus scanner operations are stopped. Programs and configurations are retained in non-volatile memory. Serial, USB, Ethernet, and IP routing parameters are set to the values listed in the tables. This allows you to connect to the Scatterpack for configuration, programming, and maintenance tasks without knowing the port settings used for daily operations. Only Serial 3 retains its pre-service boot settings when you start the Scatterpack in service boot mode. Cold boot mode is used when you need to clear a configuration from the SCADA pack. It is optional after installing new controller firmware. Cold boot mode does not format the flash file system. When the SCADA pack starts in cold boot mode, the SCADA pack X70 logic application is erased. The SCADA pack objects database is cleared. The SCADA pack configuration settings are returned to default. The DNP3 device address is set to zero. Serial, USB, Ethernet, and IP routing parameters are restored to the default settings listed. Factory boot mode is used to reformat the flash file system and initialize the scatter pack to its factory default settings. When a scatter pack X70 starts in factory boot mode, the scatter pack X70 logic application is erased. The Scatterpack Objects database is cleared. The Scatterpack configurations are returned to their default settings. The Flash file system is reformatted. 
serial, USB, Ethernet, and IP routing parameters are restored to the default settings listed.